Hello kids. Roxy Reader here to talk with you about the story, Mrs. Brown Went to Town. Howdy kids. Book Bunny here with Roxy to talk with you about this funny story. I love to read stories that rhyme. And this story doesn't disappoint you. It was fun to read and try to get the rhyming to sound right. What does it mean to rhyme? Let's watch this video about rhyming and I think that it will answer your question. Which words rhyme? Rat, hat, box, cat, pig. Cat, rat, and hat rhyme, but box and pig don't. Rhyming words have the same end sound, but different beginning sounds. These words have the same end sound, at, but different beginning sounds. Er, pig and box have different beginning and end sounds. In this group, the words that rhyme are cat, rat, and hat. Rhyming can be a lot of fun. What rhymes with bunny? Honey rhymes with bunny and so does money. Bunny. Honey money. Let's play a rhyming game. Tell me if you think these words rhyme. Brown. Town. Clown. Do those words rhyme? Yes, I think they do rhyme. They sound the same at the middle and end of each word. So they must rhyme. You are very correct. They do rhyme. Now, how about these words? Barn. Yarn. Dog. Do those words rhyme? No, they do not rhyme. The endings are not all the same sound. You tried to trick me, Roxy. I tried to trick you, but you were too smart for my trick to work. What did you like about this storybook, Bunny? I liked the part where the pigs painted the house red like the barn. That was really funny. What was your favorite part, Roxy? My favorite part of the story was trying to get the words to sound like they rhymed. Let me give it a try. Life on the farm wasn't always this way. Until Mrs. Brown went to town that day. So now she lives in the barn out back, with a cow, two pigs, three ducks, and a yak. Not bad, Roxy, not bad at all. Thanks, Book Bunny. I have some questions about this story for you to answer. Are you ready? I sure am ready, Roxy Reader. Here is your first question. Do you think the animals learned anything from their experience in Mrs. Brown's house? That is a tough question. I would say that I do think they learned to be more careful with things that don't belong to them. That's what I would have learned if I were them. Why do you think all of the animals and Mrs. Brown were living in the barn out back? I am not sure I remember that one. Can you give me a hint? Sure, I can give you a hint. Something happened that caused the house to be ruined. Oh yeah. Now I remember. Thanks for the hint. They were all living in the barn because the bed crashed through the floor because they were all in it. That was funny. But I bet that all those animals in your bed would be smelly. I think you would be very right. It would be smelly. But having all those animals in her bed caused them all to get hurt. What happened to them? They all had to go to the hospital, didn't they? Yes, you are correct. They all had broken arms and legs. It is a good thing that the hospital was big enough to allow them all a bed. Let's play another game called Cause and Effect. How do we play that game? It is easy. I will give you a cause, why something happened in the story and you have to give me the effect, which is, what happened. Okay, so, a cause is why something happened. And an effect is what actually happened. Yes. That is correct. Ready? I am ready. Here is the first cause. A dog bit Mrs. Brown. What is the effect? The effect was that Mrs. Brown had to go to the hospital. Very good. Here is the next cause. Mrs. Brown was away from the farm. That is the cause. What is the effect? The effect of Mrs. Brown being away from the farm is that the animals moved into her house. And boy did they make a mess. 
Here is my last one. Too many people were on the bed. That is the cause. What is the effect? The effect of too many people being on the bed was that Mrs. Brown's bed crashed through the floor. I really enjoyed learning about this story with you, Roxy. Thanks, Book Bunny. I also enjoyed learning with you. We always have so much fun when we read books and then talk about them. Well, kids, that is all for now. See you in a book really soon. Bye-bye.